Hey, I'm back, and it's time for Software Sunday. So I'm going to review another plugin, and today what I'm going to review is M Equalizer from Melda Productions. If you don't know, this is part of the free Melda Effects bundle. So if you can want to go over to Melda Productions, you can get this for free, download it, and it'll have a little bit of a nag screen, and you can't save presets. But I think besides that, everything is functional, so it's a really good preset, and it doesn't cost you much money. But I thought I'd go over some of the good parts about it and why it is my favorite equalizer plugin. So first of all, if you go here, you see the screen here, and if we right-click here, you get to see all the different types of bands and filters they have available. It has frequency, uh, cue control quality, and it has gain, just like anything else. But one of the cool things is it has uh, channels, so you can choose to process only the left channel, the right channel, or the left and right channel. And so this is cool if you want to do like stereo effects. I can just choose to boost the left side of my signal, etc. So let me play something here and I'll set it to the left and I'll let you hear how it sounds. I'm clipping there a little bit, but you can see as I move that up, it just came through the left channel. I know you're thinking like, okay, that's kind of cool, and there's some tricks I can do with that. But actually, there's a deeper or more important thing, in my opinion, you can do with that. You can set this not only to left, right. It has a lots of different modes here. I can set this to mid-side, which is what I usually use it for. And if we go in there again, now you see it's mid-side. So I can either affect the mono channel or the side channel or both which is really good, especially if you have like a bass signal and you think like, ah, I need to mono the bass of my song. It's really easy and useful to do that with just a high pass filter, set it to side and there you go. But let's go over some of the other cool things you can do with it. Not only does it have this, it also has an analyzer. So if I turn this on and play it again, So, as you saw there, it has a really good analyzer. You can change a lot of the settings for this if you want to mess with that. The resolution, opacity, has all sorts of things you can do with that. And uh, it actually responds to, you can see as you're moving the uh, bands around, it shows it gives you feedback. So... So as you can see, it actually gives you feedback on that. Also, another cool thing here is this areas. If I go into here, it shows you like sub bass, bass, uh, low mid, etc. It divides it up for you visually. So not only do you have an auditory reference, you also have a visual ref reference. Sorry. Um, and it also has cool things here like drums. So if you're EQing drums, it tells you like ah bass boom, bass body, bass kick, etc. And it has one for keyboard, too, so it actually shows you where notes are on the keyboard. And that's useful, but you might think, like, okay, well, it has those, but it doesn't have anything else. It just has like drums, which is useful, but what if I want something for a guitar? You can actually go in and edit it yourself. So instead of drums, I can go in here, edit, and make my own for guitar or bass or whatever, using whatever frequencies you like. So it's kind of cool for that, and then you can save it as a preset if you actually uh, pay for the bundle. The free one, you can't save presets, so you can't really do it. Another cool feature is the auto-listen, which is one of my favorite features, actually. So you can go in and you can EQ things, and it lets you listen to just this particular area you're EQing, so you can find resonances. So let's try it. So it lets me find that, like, I think, like, ah, there it sounded a little bit muddy, a little bit um, too congested. So I can go in there and just EQ it like that. And that's really good to find, you know, all sorts of problems with your mix. But 
Now, one of the problems you're probably having is you're like, oh, okay, well, I moved this down, but now my audio is softer. And if I compare it to the original, it sounds worse. So if, by using the set button, we can go and we can set the gain up so the before and after are the same. So let's go in here and do that. <laughs> So now you see it said by taking this out here, it compensated by adding 1.2 decibels to my overall signal. So now if I go in bypass, I can hear what difference I made in my signal without having to worry about it being louder or softer. So let's check it out. <laughs> So that's really good so you're not fooling yourself with loudness. Um, there's lots of other things in here you can do. If you don't like this setup and doing it visually, you can go in here and you can move things around the same way. It also has this harmonics. Actually, yeah, let me go in here with one of the peak filters. This harmonics, this allows you to do some interesting things. Um, like if I pull down the frequency here and then I use the harmonics. Ooh, it goes up. So it goes in octaves, but if you don't want octaves, see here, like, semitones 12, I can move it here, like that, if I wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But this can be good if you have some kind of hum, because hum usually goes, like, has a fundamental frequency, and then it goes, like, every octave, it goes up. So you can cut out hum or sometimes resonances, sometimes using this. So it's very useful for that. And it's also cool for just interesting effects. Also, it has a limiter in case you're worried about blowing out your audio, which I think I did earlier when I <laughs> raised the gain on the left side. But also, you see here this A, B, uh, C, D, E, F, G, H. These are like slots so you can A, B between different configurations. So if I have like this here, and I think, ah, oh, does this, this sound good? I can go like, ah, this might sound good, but maybe if I added something else, it might sound better. But I'm not sure. I can go to B and then ah, with this or nothing. And I can see which one sounds better. Or if I think, you know what, I want to add just one thing, but how am I going to copy all this to B so I can e A, B it back and forth? I can just hit copy here, go to B, paste, I have it, and then I can just change that one thing, and then I can A, B back and forth, although I probably have to use the settings too settle to make the volume even but that's uh, one cool thing you can do and besides that you see this wave here i can go in and process a whole file through this just by selecting it in here also i believe you can oh you have not selected the file sorry you can also drag and drop things here like uh wave files or i think even mp3s although i think it converts it to waves so this is really good if you have like samples or something and you have tons of files like if I have drum samples and I think ah, I want to cut down everything below 30 killer or 30 hertz I can just go set this in here and drag and drop all my files and it'll cut everything off the files easily and quickly which saves me tons of time but that's the reason I love this plugin I know some people don't like it as much they might not like the GUI but uh, I think it's good, and obviously you can change the style here. You can make it uh, any color you want to. And also on top of that, it's resizable. So if I go like this, ah, if you're visually impaired, it's nice and big for you. You can also move it here so you can see meters for the in and out and also the width. So there's lots of other things you can do, and you can set up multiple parameters here so you can modulate multiple things with one switch like this there move this here and move this like that okay and if i move this wow they all move together so there's all sorts of things you can do with this it also has saturation and i'm going on too long i could talk about this forever but i just want to show you some cool things you can do with this and that's why i'd say definitely check this out before you spend lots of money on another equalizer this one does almost anything you need, and it's free. And even if you pay the upgrade price, you get a bunch of other plugins upgraded also. So if you like this, give it a like.
Leave me a question down below if you have any or any comments. Make sure you su subscribe. And if you have any other plugins you'd like me to review, let me know. Until next time, see you.